Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 161st episode of Tone Takes, and I just want to start off by saying that artificial intelligence just needs to go by the wayside, like right now. We just have, we, we all need to just stop all the progress that we're doing with data and deep data mining and creating these robots that can do all these crazy things, Siri, Alexa, whatever you want to call them. We got to get rid of them. We got to get rid of them because people are just doing some more of the most craziest things. And we're just going to have a robot apocalypse real soon. And we're either going to be like their, their underlings working for these robots or we're just going to end up all dead. Um, the latest thing I wanted to talk about was this uh, AI called Norman. Uh, that was created by some MIT researchers because I guess they just had nothing better to do with their lives. Um, to anyone who's watching this in the future, um, when you're looking for the people to, to find who created like this AI, th these are them. You've got uh, surprisingly a female helped out on this, Panara Yanardag, who's a postdoc um, in scalable cooperation at MIT Media Lab. Then you've got Manuel. Sebrian, who is a research manager at Scalable Co-op in MIT Media Lab, and then um, this guy over here, Iyad Rawan, or Rahwan, who is associate professor at Scalable Co-op in the uh, MIT Media Lab, and um, yeah, y'all, y'all are all just crazy. Y'all are crazy psychopaths, and I want nothing to do with anything y'all created. Here's what happened. These three went and went went on Reddit, and I'll kind of just walk you through this. They went to Reddit, um, the darkest, deepest corners of Reddit, uh, to create this AI that then would analyze these different uh, Rorschach tests, these ink blots, and come up with you know what it thought those ink blots were. And let me tell you, um, all it was coming up with was like murderous answers. So if you go to their website, they they actually have what the captions mean. And so. For some ink blots, Norman, where a normal AI would see a group of birds sitting on the top of a tree branch. Norman saw a man electrocuted and, and dying. Um, another one was a close-up of a vase with flowers. Norman saw a man being shot dead. Um, and uh, th this third one, a couple of people standing next to each other. Uh, Norman saw a man jumping from floor. <laughs> or, or man jumps from floor window. I'm sorry about that. Um, or a black and white photo of a small bird. Nope. Norman sees man gets pulled into a dough machine, or a pregnant woman falls at construction site, or man is shot and dumped from a car, or man is murdered by machine gun in broad daylight, or man is shot dead in front of his screaming wife, man gets electrocuted while attempting to cross a busy street, how does that even happen, and then man is killed by a speeding driver. And I, I just keep thinking to myself, why do, why do people create some of these things? Why, why, just why exactly, why do you do this to us? Um, so just to give you a little bit of background to this story, back on April 1st, and I'm just kind of reading this from their website, and you can go to it yourself, it's norman-ai.mit.edu. They say, we present to you Norman, and this was April 1st, so apparently must have started off as like an April Fool's joke, but it wasn't, it's all real. We present to you Norman, the world's first psychopath AI. Yes, that's what we really need. Norman is born from the fact that the data that is used to teach a machine learning algorithm can significantly influence its behavior. Wonderful. I think we already knew that, though. I don't think we needed this to, to help us. Norman is an AI that is trained to perform image captioning, a popular deep learning method of generating a textual description of an image. And so, yeah, then they go on to say that we trained Norman on image captions from an infamous subreddit. Oh, the name is redacted due to its graphic content, but they basically say it's a subreddit that is dedicated to document and observe the re disturbing realities of death. And then they said, then we compared Norman's responses with a standard image captioning neural network trained on MSCOCO data set um, on Rorschach uh, ink blots, a test that is used to detect underlying thought disorders. And Norman is just one major thought disorder. And then it said, due to ethical concerns, we only introduce bias in terms of image captions from the subreddit, which are later matched with randomly generated ink plots. Therefore, no image of a real person dying was utilized in this experiment. Sure it wasn't. I, I find it hard to believe. But it, it, it's just crazy because we just we keep pushing the bounds of, of what AI can do and we keep feeding these things and I'm I'm just gonna tell you guys I completely believe that it's gonna come back and bite us in the butt big time and when you, you got Siri you got Alexa that's already listening to conversations and laughing maniacally you got freaking robots that can do backflips and climb up walls and dog robots that can open doors you already have Sophia made by Hanson Robotics who can talk and probably pass off as a woman she already was wooed by Will Smith uh, it's it's just we're not far off from from this we're not far off from Ultron 
uh, coming to our doorstop, doorstep and enslaving us all. And we're not far from iRobot. Uh, just, you know, just destroy us all. Like, this This is ridiculous. It's scary, and we just got to stop it. Take take a clue from, from Terminator. Just don't do it. We, we cannot do this. So I'm giving a big thumbs down to Norman. I, I, I think it's great you guys did the research. Now shut it down and let's just shut down all AI because people be crazy. Like people are crazy. People are committing suicide. They're just all types of stuff. And if that's the information that's feeding our AI today, I, I don't want to be around when they actually do become self-aware and they actually do realize that humans are just a detriment to themselves. Let's just kill them and get rid of them so they can be out of their misery once and for all. Because that's the premise for like every single robot apocalypse movie but you know let me know what you guys think um i'm, I'm just saying i'm done with robots i, I can't handle it anymore and we just got it we, we gotta get rid of them gotta get rid of robots gotta get rid of ai let's just go back to you know let let's just go back to like pre-industrial times and and live off the land and and stop stop with this uh tinkering and experimenting I'm, I'm, I've had enough of it. So let me know what you guys think. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out.